Hi, I'm Keith Esserick. I'm with the Care Start Sound. I'm Trent Hummel. I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist at Cincinnati Children's Hospital and a board member of the Care Starts Now. About how it's diagnosed. Uh, how does this normally found? So normally in in kids, kids who have medulloblastoma and and adults also have the same symptoms. Mostly the symptoms are all a function of where that primary tumor is located. Um, so sometimes that tumor can block the flow of fluid in your brain and you can get headaches, you can get vomiting. You can also have what's called ataxia or the inability to walk straight. So you'll hear kids complaining about, I just can't walk straight or you'll hear Parents talk about, oh, on, on their way to running to the bases, they're, they're not walking on the uh, foul line or the, or the base, baseline, right? They're wobbling all over the place. You can also have um, double vision. Uh, but the main thing is persistent headaches and, and early, morm early morning vomiting that um, usually is a sign of pressure. Now, if you have a spinal cord medulloblastoma, you can have other symptoms, back pain, uh, what we call neuropathies, or sort of the pins and needles in your legs, yeah. um, and also incontinence, which is um, essentially going to the bathroom without meaning to go to the bathroom.